Many of us are getting used to self-checkout at the grocery store, at the pharmacy, but there's an opportunity for retailers to provide a whole new level of experience with truly automated checkout. And Mustafa, at MishiPay, you're helping retailers activate this reality. What are you doing? We are bringing the best of the online checkout experience to the physical store. Because what we fundamentally understand is that people like to go to the store they like to be able to experience the product in the physical environment and then go and buy it. The problem in the store today is that the store disappoints you at that peak of the journey where you know you want to buy it, you then need to wait in a line, get to the till and then pay. And online you do the exact opposite, right? Because you can't browse very easily. You can't actually be able to experience what the item is going to give you. But when you know what you want, you have all the info, add to basket and pay. MishiPay is looking to bring the best of both of these worlds for the sake of the shop and the shopper. And we do this with our mobile self-checkout technology. What you do as a shopper is that when you walk into the store and you want to know more about an item, you scan the barcode of the item with our app. You don't have to download it. It's available on iOS and Android to download, but if you don't want to download, you just go on the web browser and you start scanning the item. It's as simple as that. We give you all the information, name, picture, price, promotions, everything else that you want to know about the item. And when you're ready, you add to basket and pay. So now the user just scans, pays, and goes. And the shopper never has to wait in a the line. They get all the possible information and the speed of checkout while getting to experience that physical environment. Is there a big cost? Uh, and logistical issue to get retailers to roll this out? There are technologies out there that we've heard of and that we've seen that require retailers to implement a lot of new infrastructure. Even the self-checkout kiosk that we use today, right? You have to install it. It's hardware that you have to buy, you have to make space for in the store, and it still doesn't solve the problem, right? Because at the peak time, you're still waiting in the line for the self-checkout. Our whole ethos is about not requiring the retailer to make any kind of software or hardware infrastructure changes at all or not even changing the process. We look to utilize the existing training of the staff and the existing processes in the store. And the way we do this is by integrating with six systems in the backend. This is the product catalog, so that when you're scanning, you get the latest price, promotions, any other info you want. The POS, the retailer's own cash register, so that the sales always go back and their inventory, their stock, everything is synchronized. We integrate with their payment system so that they get the money straight from the shopper and we're not holding the funds. We integrate with the promotion so that you never lose out on a meal deal and the loyalty so that they don't lose out on points or anything else. So this sounds like uh, smaller retailers could take advantage of this solution because there isn't a big capital investment to make it happen and there really aren't any operational changes. So what are the challenges to wide scale adoption of MishiPay? We have two main challenges, getting shops, getting shoppers, and then each of them will create momentum for the other. We've gone in and re-engineered our product to be able to go live with retailers in as little as two days. What do you think is the future for your recommendation engine? The big online retailers have a real leg up with recommendations that physical retailers have a hard time doing. We look to learn from online in this case, right? Where they look at how long have you been on a page? What did you add to your basket? What did you take out of your basket? And for the first time ever, we have this in the physical store. We know which aisle you were in when you scanned that item because of location. We know how long did you wait on the items uh, page, right? What did you add to basket and take out? Let's say I scan a water, right? And I scan a chocolate bar. I take out the chocolate bar from my basket and I scan a protein. And you might say, okay, I, I was craving sugar, I did the protein bar, maybe there's another product that fits my type of behavior. So you want to give me another type of snack that is similar. There's so much that they could start doing, which online retailers are now used to doing. It's actually old hat online. But the physical store has been such a black box, it's been impossible to do it.